This isn't your father's coffee pot. It actually grinds the beans in the machine. It's amazing what you can afford when you nix a marble steam room and put that money towards something more practical. That costs more than my car. What a perk it would have been to hang out in here and have a double macchiato in between tit jobs. A macchiato, you said? Sean, why did you ask me here today? To make you an offer. If you come back, I'll double your salary. Oh, that sounds like hush money, Sean. You're an invaluable part of the team, Liz. You're the best anesthesiologist I've ever worked with. And as an additional bonus, I'll throw in something you've always wanted. Complete health benefits for your partner, Gene. Jan. I can't work this goddamn thing. I'll do it. Hmm. Jan and I broke up. I'm sorry. I'm not. For 15 years, I put up with her pot smoking and her cynicism. And finally, two weeks ago, I just said, honey, I love you, but I am not in love with you. What got in you? Someone pushed a gun into my temple. You might remember that moment, Sean. You were there. I've never really apologized for putting you in that situation, Liz. No, you didn't. I'm sorry. It's all right, Sean. Actually, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. A shift has happened in me. I can feel it. I broke up with Jan because I want to be in love deeply. I sold my condo. I'm moving to the beach because that's always what I wanted. And I figure, what are you waiting for? What happened that night got me thinking, what if I can't put off stuff until tomorrow because I don't get another tomorrow? I felt similarly. What happened really changed my outlook. Yeah. Well, there's a big difference between changing your outlook and changing your life, Sean.